everybody! Welcome to another episode of Anderson's TV. I'm Pete. I am the captain. And uh, this is exciting. I am Captain America for this one, for the Age of Ultron, um, to announce uh, a new guitar called the Ultra Series from Fender. Now, those eagle eyed viewers of you who watch every single video that we make uh, will know that a couple of weeks ago we did a, a blowout deal on the Fender Elite, Elite. series. Yes. Um, and that's because um, I'm guessing today is November the 5th. Guy Fawkes Night, if you're in the UK, if you're somewhere else in the world, you he might. He was the guy that was trying even... to burn down Parliament. He was trying, he had the right idea, didn't he? He was going to blow up Parliament and change the world. Yeah. Uh, but hey, he got Un caught it, and was yeah. hung, drawn, and quartered. He should have blown that Parliament <laughs> Back up. in the day when that was acceptable. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. so Ultra Series, you guys know, is, is kind of. The Fender have always done this super top of the range of the USA series. Kremlin. Um, with all the kind of modern features that you would expect uh, um, somebody to, to try and put on either a Strat or a Telecaster, or actually in this series now a Jazzmaster as well, and a couple of basses. Modern we, feeling as well. It's modern everything, man. Modern. It's, it's just, just modern. so modern. It's like, it's like it's a Tesla. Like, it, it, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah, anyway, look, so uh, what we've got is we've got um, a, a sample of the range here. So you've got the three single coil Strat that yep. Pete's holding, an HSS Strat here, a very pretty and slightly obscured by something else very pretty uh, <laughs> Telecaster. This is just the most Best amazing colour I've seen in a long time. It's called Texas Tea. Texas Tea. It's probably really difficult. It probably looks a bit black out there, but it's got this it's like greeny, this bronzy, goldy bronzy, brown. Oh. Oh, very cool. Oh, oh. Uh, so that that's the oh. mainstay of the sort of the strats and the tellies. Lots of different colours. All new colours look great oh. as well. Uh, perhaps we'll see some some colours appear on the screen now. Jazz Masters will be in a video another day, and we will get Nathan and Lee to do the bases in another video yes. too. But this is there's the, the the first thing I guess uh, in the transition from the old Elite to the Ultra is the Elite thin line is gone and has not been replaced by a thin line um, Ultra. I think a thin line just needs to be thin line. And what old school and, and old school. Anyway. That's kind of my that's my so, approach to it anyway, but you know. I'm gonna grab a uh, oh. a, a, a three single coil strat. Yes. You know, the, the iconic kind of strat thing. You and should take that one because that colour there. You like that colour, do you? Yes. The sort of the metallic. See, I've got a thing for metallic colours that are a little bit obscure. Whoa. Not obscure, but it's just different. Look at and it, that. And you, look at that. It's like gold with like a, a, a burgundy type thingy and just In fact, gorgeous. you know what? Could you arm yourself with this one? Yes. Because as I tell people about the spec, you could demonstrate it. I could. Couldn't you? Yes, I could. And that would be a, Certainly. a novel approach to doing these kinds of videos, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, and we've also kept a couple of the Elite guitars back for this video so that we can kind of show you in more detail how things have changed. So the first thing, and I guess, you know, critically important when we talk about feel and tone of a guitar, mm. um, tonally speaking, we now have the new Ultra single coil pickups. Now, this is... Um, still keeping in this idea of always having a noiseless pickup on the premium yeah. sort of Fender guitar. Yeah. So no kind of background hum when you're using a distorted sound. Staggered pole pieces now, but the, the, the key here is, whereas on the previous range of noiseless pickups, you had this sort of generational change from version one through to version four on the, 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 the outgoing Elite model. This is a completely new, ground up, new magnets, new wires, new everything pickup called the ultra noiseless. And that's a little bit misleading because ultra noiseless would be like, doesn't make any noise. But of course these do make a noise. They just make a guitar noise. Oh, I see what you see what you you're saying. Where I'm coming I from see they look different as well. The, the, the pole staggered. pieces, are, yeah, but they're stacked in a different way. So they're like, the first three goes up and then I'm just astounded. You might call these an astounded pickup. It's got three up and then three up. Right, like well, that. let's have a little listen. And the yeah. other thing, which I guess, you know, almost feels like a backward step but for simplistic people like myself is a huge forward step s1 switching in its very complex form is gone yeah and all the button now does on here is add in the neck pickup yeah when you're you know not on the neck pickup setting basically yeah. um so pete please take it away give us some some tones i'm in the uh, fender deluxe reverb and i got a selection of pedals on the floor here so i might just change 
the sound at some point if, if I like to. But here's the first neck pickup. Got that lovely two point trem there, easy to use. Sounds like a strat, doesn't it? It's unbelievable. But it's really quiet. Unbelievable. Uh, so, neck and middle. Just, it's just that now it's you know you want to play because that's just the sound, isn't it? You know. Yeah, Let's just go back to the front pickup and just put a tube screen on. Oh, that's good. And then the two pick up together with the two screen. You, you know. Sounds great. Middle position with nothing. button do something now. Let's have a listen. It's it just taking it back to a position four kind of sound, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not it's not running the uh, middle pickup, uh, sorry, the neck pickup in series or anything like that. So, so actually, um, yeah, all you're doing by pushing the button in here with it on pitch it's position just three is just it's, you've already Taking got it back. Yeah. yeah, you've got so this. So it's only really doing something you new are. on positions one and two, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, these two together. And here is the bridge. So that blends in. That's now these two. These two together. together. Yeah. I like. Yeah. I really. Yeah. I think that's a cool feature because it doesn't sound like like this. It's, it's too extreme. Yeah, isn't it? and it's it's really mm. nice, warm, but still bright. <laughs> and that <laughs> you know that wiring mod is the mm. most requested kind of custom shop wiring mod oh. so i'm kind of i can see you know series uh, s1 series one yeah. s1 switching yeah i can kind of see that you know there was a lot of, there was a lot to talk about oh, it kind of felt like you were getting a lot it was but, like we did something but actually in reality i think you just ended up with an overwhelming choice of, of, of yes, sounds and, I, and this i agree is simpler, well let's simpler. have a let's have a listen here on the back pickup yeah with the dane <laughs> And then let put the switch in. It's much more of a Now what I would like to do, and we've not done Sounds this great, yet, so this is completely live, um, I would like to hear what the old uh, noiseless generation four pickup sounded like on the elite compared to the ultra because there is you know every time fender update this noiseless thing it, there's always this idea that it gets somehow slightly closer to that very traditional vintage sounding single coil yeah and it's almost like every time they do it they sort of claim it yeah so i'm kind of thinking <laughs> how much closer can this thing get but let's find out so here is an elite strat. This is handy actually because there's quite a few other features I can show you now that are different between the elite and the ultra. Uh, but this is just a tone test. So let, let's just, without using S1 or anything, let's just run through the sort of the five tones okay. uh, and see if it just sounds like completely clean. Yeah, please. Okay.
Oh, and there's a difference. It's, a, it's, it's slightly it's, brighter. I was going to say a little bit more, less mid-range and a bit brighter, maybe. Yeah. This is this is more cl clear. Maybe, maybe more clear. Let's just let's try. Let's go back again. Maybe try the try the, try position four or something. And this is so t uh, scientific. Scientific. Serendipitous. There we go. It was. Serendipic. <laughs> Tell you what I want to do. I want to put a bit more treble on this one. It feels like there's more top end on that. It's a little clearer. Bit. Yeah. It's clearer. It feels very different as well. I must admit. Yeah, well, the feel we'll get to that. There's a big difference in yeah. the field. So. Uh, let's go back to that pickup. Yep. With a bit of gain. Sure. From the Dane. They're all marginally more trebly, aren't they? It's, it's, it's just, to me, to my ears, me, my ears, personally, yeah. They're yeah. Cl it's clearer, the pickups are cle yeah. clearer in the now, sound. Now, while we're doing pickups, I am just going to grab also the HSS, because again, in another change from the old Elite series, um, where the pickups were essentially, the single coil pickups on the HSS were the same as on the SSS. SSS, SSS, SSS. <laughs> on the HSS now, the single coil pickups are hotter versions uh, of the ultra versions that are on the, the single coil. Mm. And of course, we've also got the uh, double tap um, humbucker at the <laughs> back. And in an even simpler uh, set of switching on here, the button on here now just taps the, the double tap humbucker. Taps the double tap. Yes. Double tap. It's it's literally like watching Michael Flatley do his version of uh, Lord of the Dance with tap tap tap. Anyway, <laughs> so let's do um, let's do a that versus that. Um, okay, I will pass just, that. Got, I, only really on the neck and the. Well, no, we can do all three, can't we? So here we go. Okay, so just clean first. I guess. Yeah. different fretboards as well so yeah we're, we're looking for a level difference but hey wood here. doesn't make a difference Lee anyway that sounds different yeah isn't it? we should do so a little bit more output from so you these. want still this yeah yeah I think we just That's again clearer, more, yeah. more Sound, strat. Sounds, sounds like there's a smidgen more mid-range in these as yeah. well. Yeah. Definitely different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, here you go. That so, the and then the humbucker on here, uh, which obviously is going to be much pokier than the, the back pickup on here. Pokey. Uh, but the clever thing with this now, again, is you hit the button in, it coil taps this, and th this double tap humbucker. What what normally happens on a humbucker when you split the coil and only one works is it has a tendency to to sound weedier than you would typically expect a single coil in its own to sound. Yeah. So to, to sort of combat that on the, the double tap humbucker, it adds in a bit of an extra coil as well when you coil tap it. So it sort of boosts that single coil nature to make it sound Oof. like a normal coil. It's a lot of information I think that's there. probably the worst technical explanation you'll ever hear of that, but hopefully you get the idea. You know what I got to add to that? These feel really nice. Soft so knobs. Yeah, <laughs> soft knobs. Here we go. Hop knobs. <laughs> Push it in. Gain. Push it in. Oh, sounds 
good with the. Does sound good. That sounds good, yeah. man. <laughs> Really good, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, so Pete, if you could go back to holding this one, and so that's the pickups. Hopefully, you, you know that was a good run through there. Now we're going to talk about the the, the feel. Oh, sorry. Um, so if I go back to the elite, uh, your the, the the thing on the elite that was kind of I'd never seen done before was this idea of a not only a compound radius fretboard but an actual change to the, the the compound feel of the neck so it went from sort of a, a chunky d up here to a sort of a slightly flatter c down here as mm. well as the fretboard flattening out so it now, fits more with your hand when your hand does that up the, up yeah. the board it becomes flatter as you're there there's it a makes big, perfect sense i don't know that this is like a better or worse thing or anything like that but there's a big difference now i would say the necks are probably the biggest difference between ultra and elite so now they've gone back to just uh a, a, like a modern d profile on here there's no sense of it kind of changing as it goes up mm -hmm. so it feels thinner all the way yeah from the from the the you know the nut end to the to the pickup end yeah um and it's also there's a definitely more pronounced rolled edge like more rolled than you got on the oh the yeah it's elite. much more rolled which makes this neck yeah. feel slightly thicker there's a different lacquer on the the new ultra it's got this so he's got a tint, tint. so as well as, the, as well as the tint, which is just a visual thing, so you can see that the Elite now looks like a little bit more aged. So cross, than a, than cross, a, uh, um, cross, cross the swords, cross the beams. Um, I like all, this. All of, the, all of these guitars had that kind of slightly satin feel, but there's still a lacquer used on there to, to seal it. Um, but it's a thinner lacquer now on satin. the Ultra, so it's got that mm. even slightly more woody feel. Um, really, it's just down, you know, to sort of to Pete to really kind of explain how he feels. It's different. It's going to be a personal thing. I just noticed they they yeah. ditched the um, the truss yeah. rod wheel from the end. Now I've I've got to be honest. With you. Visually, I like the fact they've ditched the wheel. I think it yes. looks neat from there. I think I, so I too. am a fact. I've got to be honest with you. I still think that the old the, the the wheel down here is actually an easier adjustment to make than having it back is up it? here. But I think so. I mean, it's just me. But there we go. You're not going to play the play that bit are you no 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 i'm just well look here you go comment below i'm just saying that i think there's a sort of a an element of it do, it, it doesn't look right on a strat here but it, i thought it was a cool thing on, on oh, it's a, yeah hey. yeah it's a handy feature um machine heads are, are the same all the same they look uh, the same Locking yeah notch. string tree is the same yeah logo gold. is prettier on there now so you've got the gold logo gold. rather than silver but that's anyway so that's the neck if we flip the guitar over there is a substantial difference. Oh, this has changed so a lot. Elite had this idea of a heel joint that was kind of pretty similar to a standard heel joint, but kind of with the top of it carved off, but still the same sort of depth and the the um, the, the horns were the same kind of vibe. Mm. You can now see on Ultra, they've chamfered away. So you're probably talking a good centimeter difference yeah. in the, the depth of the heel. Plus you've now got this sort of spoon cut on the back here. Right so there for the hands. If you need to play up here at 8,000 miles an hour, um, <laughs> I'm guessing this is a much faster feel than than the outgoing Elite. Even if so you don't have to play up there at 1,000 miles an hour, it just feels nice when you hold it. Yeah. Like this. Just hold it and go, this feels good to hold. Yeah, so I mean, as a player, Pete, what are you? What are your initial but sort of you, thoughts between you know this one and that one from a just feel? I mean, this feels better to me than that yeah. does it feels modern you know i'm not really into the modern thing because i like to fight with my guitars yeah. a little bit yeah. but it's super easy to play yeah. that was super easy this is even easier yeah. to play i like the fact that the, the neck feels very much more rolled on this yeah it feels really nice where this is a li little bit more old-fashioned i would say so the neck feels yeah. slightly thicker yeah. but this is very nice down here yeah. i prefer There's this cut yes to that cut yeah um is the belly cut the same? Belly cut's the same. Not doesn't look a bit deeper on no. that one. No, so belly cut's the same. There is a They're marginal really light as well. There is a marginal change to the actual um, radius of the of the fretboard yeah. as well. This so is ten here, right? Ten to fourteen on that. Yeah. And this, I think, was nine, nine and, and a half, half to twelve. I think. So there's a yeah. there's an element of that's gone even flatter. Again, look. Yeah. I'm just going to throw this little bomb out there. Yeah. Uh, that now is the same fretboard radius as a Sur modern. Uh, modern classic just saying but there's nothing I mean 
Just saying. So all you guys out there that, are, I think there's an element in my head of going, there are one or two brands that make great, great guitars, yep. but have got this sort of reputation that somehow they make like a better modern strap than Fender do. Fender make good vintage straps, but yeah. have they really nailed it? Yeah. And I, I definitely think this is, you know, I mean, I think Fender have always made a good modern strap, but this is, <laughs> this is, this is a real like, no, come on. This is, this is as good as anything Absolutely. realistically out there now and if you want a modern strap. Hey, it's got the right name on and it. And you get that on there. Um, tremolo is the same. Yeah. Uh, Two point tremolo. Case, lovely. Case that lovely. it comes with is the same. Yeah. Really nice case. Pricing's not that different to be fair. Um, these are all going to sell sort of between 17 and 1800 pounds for any of the strats or tellies. Mm -hmm. It's only the basses and the jazz masters that are a smidgen dearer. Um, I want to hear you play one, Lee. No, you don't. Uh, a... Anyway, this isn't the right one, is it? No. No, I tell you what, look, we'll jam at the end, but I think we should move on now to. Do you want to do some telly and, and just show the you... difference? Or? Yes, I think yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> man this not only is an ultra series telecaster it's also the best looking guitar that i have seen i was going to say all year but in so this is oh, this it's magnificent it's unbelievable the texas t and said texas flood the texas t color <laughs> with the anodized i don't know what they're calling this pick gun anodized silver what? maybe anodized I'm, I'm silver, sure. yeah, you, yeah. and i'm reliably informed i've not seen a picture of one yet but apparently this color is also available on the strap, but with a gold anodized pick guard. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it's great. So, okay. Oh, that uh, is glorious. A little bit like we did on the strap. I've got an elite telly over here, which I'll grab and we can talk you through the features. But uh, in a nutshell, it's all the same kind of stuff. So we've got this new ultra um, telly pickups. Um, oh my the Lord. switching has been simplified so that in the middle position again all it does is flip that the two pickups are working in series or parallel which we can demo uh, got the same neck profile same heel joint all that stuff basically and of course also available in a maple or a rosewood fretboard which reminds me of course we didn't talk about the rosewood thing on the on the guitars. Oh, we did not. So uh, here we go. The lifting of the CITES or the imminent lifting of the uh, CITES restriction around using rosewood, Fender have decided to reintroduce rosewood fretboards into their you know high end uh, ultra range. Um, whereas of course on the old elite range they were ebony. Yes. Uh, again, better, worse subjective whatever but certainly more traditional to use oh, there's uh, no rosewood. difference uh, in the wood Lee absolutely none you know what I mean it makes I'm no just, sense I, it makes no um, difference <laughs> so let's grab we'll do the tone test thing again so as you can see on this mm. here elite the heel joint uh, is very different to the ultra um, and all the same things we said about the tints and the neck calves and the rolled edges, it's all, all applies. So why don't you give us some clean <sighs> tones and we'll compare the tones of these two. I guitars. want a car in this color. I just want everything in that color. Look I at that. I, I want a pair of shoes in that color, a matching <sighs> jumper. Um, <laughs> like a turtleneck. Yes, With absolutely. a chain hanging absolutely. down in the front. I, I really, isn't that, honestly think Isn't that, that is the best such a good color. color combination so anyway, ever. Anyway, and, is... and the worst thing is, I really don't know on camera how it's going to get picked up. No, uh, we'll see if we can get a nice It's difficult, sweep. isn't it? But anyway, anyway we'll try great. some tones here from yes. the neck pickup. <laughs> Again, it's the, it's still got the clearer. This is a bit. I, I wouldn't say I muffled. I think it's more. I, I think there's less of a difference between those two than we heard on the strap. Yes, but you still got. Let me do it again and right. then have a listen. It's like a little bit. 
yeah. It's, it's again it's more it's, apparent that time around. Yeah, maybe but on again, the picking. It, again, it's there's not much in it. Mm. But bridge pickup, um, maybe. Yeah, bridge pickup. <laughs> difficult one yeah I'm not hearing as much difference on the tellies as uh, as I heard on the strats but it's the, is everything is slight it's just a little bit brighter. brighter yeah uh, gain if you want on yeah. the Dane it's a good sound it is uh, it's a good, good sound, sound. that's a keep good this guitar. sound no one will notice if this doesn't go home <laughs> more mid range in this guitar yeah. everything is a bit Tiny more bit. mid let's just show them uh i mean i've just realized as well of course actually the, the the s1 switching on the on the tellies on the old range was uh pretty simple as well so so actually that's not changed between the two so the the button does exactly the same thing on the two guitars. okay the so here's thing. the middle position <laughs> Whatever, and then you you pressed it in. Yeah. You, you, there's definitely a difference. It's, but, the, it's the same. You know. So you, again, yeah. you're switching between a series and parallel wiring. So yeah. series would be the sorry, parallel would be the 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 normal sound you'd expect from a telly in the middle position. Series is more like a, a humbucker, just where the two coils are a, a long way apart. Yeah. So a little bit sort of fatter sounding, more a bit more mid rangey. I do think the trick of just using your pick to do that. Yeah. Is I'm easier gonna, than I'm doing gonna that. I'm going to invent a little special uh, thing that you put, place on your finger, and it just can do that. This is gorgeous. It's yeah. light. Yeah. It looks great. The color's amazing. I like that this they've got this like tint. I like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I mean, it's, what else? They've got the skunk stripe back on it for some reason. Yeah, they're, they're probably where the, they put the... Putting the truss rod in the back rather than on these. They're putting the truss rod in through the front. Yeah. We did say there's no thin line version now. So this is nope. the, there's just the straightforward Telecaster in the new range. Yeah. I really I like think, them. Yeah, I think... It is... Uh, when are they coming, Lee? Uh, oh, they'll be here now. I'm pretty sure that um, this is a relatively organized product release, this one. So I'm fairly sure on the day we announce these, there may well be some in stock. Hanging in the store. Um, but of course, apart uh, from this, because that'll be hanging in your office, I yeah. can imagine. Uh, links in the description below for where you can find out about this new uh, ultra range. Yeah, they're really um, good. They yes. feel great, man. They really feel, feel great. I'm happy with the Rosewood as well. Anyway, uh, I've been the captain. And I've been Danish Pete. And that was a good demo, Pete. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was all right. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you, Lee. No, thank you. And no, thank, thank you. you for watching. <laughs> thank you for watching. No, thank you for watching. Don't subscribe and don't and hit post the a comment. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's our new ending. <laughs> Please unsubscribe and post a <laughs> comment. Thanks. <laughs> anyway. Bye. Bye.